Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to be building a machine learning model that can accurately classify breast tumors as benign or malignant. Now, before we get into the video, if you guys want to see more videos like this, drop a like down below. It helps us out tremendously with the YouTube algorithm. And with that out of the way, let's hop right into it. Alright, so in this project, we'll be using the Breast Cancer Wisconsin Diagnostic Dataset, commonly referred to as WBCD. It's available in Scikit-Learn's datasets module. Let's begin by importing the necessary libraries. Alright, so we import the NumPy module for numerical operations and the necessary components from Scikit-Learn. Specifically, we'll be using the load breast cancer function from datasets to load our breast cancer dataset. Additionally, we import train test split to split the data into training and testing sets, SVC or support vector classifier as our classification algorithm, and the accuracy score to evaluate our model's performance. Next, let's go ahead and load our breast cancer dataset. So we call the load breast cancer function to fetch the breast cancer data set. The tumor features are stored in the data variable and the corresponding target labels, benign or malignant, are stored in the target variable. Next, let's split the training or let's split the data into training and testing sets. So using train test split, we split our data into training and testing sets. Here, we allocate 20% of the data for testing, while the remaining 80% is used for training. The random state parameter ensures the reproductibility of the split. Now, let's build our breast cancer classification model. For this project, we'll be using a support vector classifier. Alright, so here we initialize an SVC object as our model. SVM or support vector machines are powerful, powerful algorithms for binary classification tasks. We then train the model using the fit method, passing in the training features X train and the target labels Y train. With our model trained, let's now make predictions on the test set and evaluate its performance. Alright, so here we use the train model to make predictions on the test set using the predict method. The predicted labels are stored in the predictions variable. To evaluate the performance of our model, we compare the predicted labels with the true labels from the test set and calculate the accuracy score using the accuracy score function. Alright, and now we're gonna, uh, let's allow the user to input their own tumor features and see how the model predicts its class.
All right, so using the input function, we prompt the user to enter the values for the mean radius, mean texture, mean perimeter, mean area, and mean smoothness of any tumor. The input is stored in their respective variables as the floating point variables. Now let's create a NumPy array with the input features and reshape it to match the model's input shape. So here we create a NumPy array with the input features and reshape it to have a single sample with multiple features. This matches the shapes. Uh, this matches the shape expected by our model. Next, let's make a prediction using these input features. Here we use the predict method on our model, passing, it, passing in the input features, and store the predicted class in the predicted class variable. Now let's print the predicted class for the user's tumor. Right, and I guess we don't have it, um, any inputs yet, so there's nothing to be declared, but the predicted class represents whether the model predicts the tumor as benign or malignant. All right, so we have successfully built a breast cancer classification model using the scikit library. We trained the model, evaluated its accuracy, and even allowed the user to input their own tumor features to see the model in action. So that's going to be it for this video. If you guys enjoyed, drop a like down below, drop a comment, and we'll catch you in the next one.